Here I am in my hotel room in Norwich and whenever I stay in a hotel I like to hit the booze. Uh, by hit the booze I don't mean drink booze, I mean conduct experiments involving alcohol. For example this one here, if you take a dark liqueur like Tia Maria and pour it onto a plate like this and then take some cream and pour that on top like this. Be very careful with this bit, pour it on top gently. You'll notice that you get these cells forming. You get localized regions of surface alcohol surrounded by cream. And if you look up close at those cells, you'll see movement. You'll see spinning. Um, and this might look like convection, something that you're familiar with. So the way convection works is if you put a pan of water on a stove, then the water at the bottom will get hot. When it gets hot, it expands. When it expands, it's less dense. When it's less dense, it rises to the top. When it rises to the top, it cools down again. When it cools down, it becomes more dense. When it's more dense, it sinks. And this cycle continues. That's convection. This is also convection here, but it's known as solutal convection. And the way solutal convection works is very roughly some alcoholic liquid rises to the surface and when it does some of that alcohol evaporates making the liquid more dense. Because it's more dense it sinks and when it sinks it comes in contact with a high concentration of alcohol so it becomes less dense again and then it rises to the surface and the cycle continues. It's a bit more complicated than that and it does involve the cream. Um, the cream has a higher surface tension and that plays a part as well. 